Hello, I'm Isaiah. Welcome back to Venus Blood Frontier. I came back from the gym actually a while ago, but the reason why I haven't uh, started recording right after is because uh, I was chatting up my friend and he was telling me about how, um, you know, he's working for another bank that basically the marketing for the bank and he's looking for people who wants to deposit money in the bank, right? And I'm like, sure, why not? The rates are better. And yeah, I think I've already told you guys, but I've mostly been uh, living by by interest of my savings account. So yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> so we were like discussing a lot of stuff and then discussing about when we're going to be meeting up. So took quite a while. But all is good. I'll be depositing the money maybe in like a week or so. But yeah. Nothing much to say for me other than that for today. I went to the gym as per usual. Did really good. It's kind of crazy to think that a year ago I was really not improving that much at the gym. Maybe less a year ago and more like a year and a half ago. Oh, sorry about that. That's actually cuff. But yeah, the reason why was that I was afraid of increasing my body weight. I was stuck at about 63 kilograms, 62 kilograms for a good two years or so. Uh, like my, my lowest was 61 kilograms, right? But I was basically really afraid of just putting on fat. And... Yeah, that really made me not gain as much muscle as optimally. I think when I was like 63, I'm about 13%, 12% body fat. When I was 61, I think it was about like 10% or 9%. Pretty crazy. But yeah, I'm hovering about 20% now. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. But alright, enough about the gym talk and the money talk. Let's actually talk about the last episode recap. After... I load the game. So in the last episode, we went to Valhalla. We destroyed one of their... Like, uh, fortress here. I think we killed Byako. We also went to... Uh, to we got two of their areas. And now we got three invaders. Oh boy. I don't think there was any story yet. With Hell or Odin. Not that I remember. There was a story, of course, but it was a story that we already saw back when I tried to go to Valhalla in Chapter 2. I also said that I was going to be doing a lot more 8 scenes. God, we got so many. I think we're gonna do 3 8 scenes per episode now, so... As much I don't, as I don't really like to do 8 scenes, um in succession or at the start of the episode. We're gonna do Turk as H scene, which we haven't done in forever. So let's do this. I am expecting some bestiality, so... If you guys are not into that... <laughs> yeah. Might want to skip the next 20 minutes. The excited horse shuddered and whined. Yeah, that's for sure whined. Typo there. Its front legs scratched the ground, urging on the female that stood before it. Between its back legs, the horse's ferocious cock was rigid. How about you give it what it wants already? Don't keep it waiting too long. It might go on a rampage. Jeez, you think that after Turka became a dark goddess, you wouldn't really see her fucking a horse again. <laughs> but I guess she started to like it? I don't know. <laughs> For the person you are now, I think a horse is the perfect partner. As Turka had fun teasing the stallion, Loki sneered. Today's plan was to have Turka mate with a horse, convincing her that she was the same as livestock. 
Thanks to hypnosis, the stallion believed that Turka was a mare. Turka didn't mind the situation so much, which seemed to irritate him. Yes, I'll do that. Turka vulgarly smiled. She got on all fours, turned her rear toward the horse's face, and raised her ass high. Invited by what he perceived as a mare, the stallion happily neighed and rubbed up against Turka. <laughs> Patreon.com says IQSK. You guys know the drill? That was a pretty short intermesso before we jump straight into the H scene. I don't know, the H scene to me doesn't seem that bad. There are like crazier horse bestiality H scenes out there. I do feel like in this game, maybe it's just the art style, it doesn't seem to be that bad. Though the context is still bad, but I'm talking about just the CG, right? Yeah, I feel like those sex scenes with uh, with these goddesses are so comical, man. <laughs> One, it's probably like, uh, welcome back, by the way, YouTube. I, I said this during the H scene itself, but I think it's because this is mostly a fantasy H scene. It's just so out there that I feel like it's so unbelievable what the hell I'm actually seeing sometimes. There are some scenes where bestiality actually makes sense and is actually pretty disturbing. This scene isn't one of them in my opinion. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do probably either Freya or Thor in the mid episode. But let's actually attack or defend some of our territory, shall we? Let's see. This one doesn't have any defenders. Knight of Tune. This one should actually be pretty easy to beat. Let's see, where else are there? I want to... I really want to recapture this area though. Because this is a fortress. I don't want a fortress crumbling down. The third one is over here. 5,000, oh my goodness. Wow, I think I gotta kill this one. Yeah, I think my main team gotta kill this one. Alright, Vedrong also became available on the last episode. Forgot about that. I think we also got a couple of Key of Destinies which I haven't used up. Yeah, we got two. Hmm. Kinda tempted to actually use it right now. I think I will use it. So, give me a tiny sec while I try to reroll the RNG in my favor and see what I can get. And I am back. That took no effort at all. I think I only reloaded like once or twice. So I got the Venom Trader. I don't know if this girl is actually good. Looking at her stats, it's uh, decent. She does have Poison Field, which is good, and also Equitable Heal. If I give her a lot of Group Heal and more Poison Field stuff, she's probably decent as a buff, as a buffer. I don't know why she's classified as whatever this is. I don't think these are supposed to be mages. And then the second one that I got was the Elf Fencer, which is alright, but I don't think she's that good. She has forward guard, and also she has parry. If I can just buff her parry a lot more, she might be pretty good as a second guard slash attacker type. But okay, let's actually try to see who we can use here. Let's see, Thor, Garm. We got a decent bit of money, but not a lot. Nadia is really hurt. I gotta heal a couple of people, don't I? The Mew is here. 
The moon, you could go there. The loophole Lancer. Turka's healing up. I think I'm gonna go need those two, so I'm probably gonna heal these two. 7,000. Ah, that's the question though. Do I heal people that are really low? She's not that expensive. I think I'm gonna use her in my team. Lethal Critical, Slay Beast. She actually does not need Lethal Critical because she doesn't have any boost critical. Hmm. Oh shit. I messed up there. Actually healed up Didi Shack when I wanted to do... I wanted to change his position. Let's see. Kurisu. I think you're okay there. Thor, you don't need to, to heal up. Mikey B. Hmm. You have a decent defense. And you have forward guard and hardy physique. Strat support. I guess my KB is mostly going to be for support, yeah. The loop out Lancer, I'm probably going to change with Turka. Mercurius. Hmm. Mercurius and Magma Serpent. They haven't really been using much. I haven't really been using them much. I think. I'm gonna go heal up Turka. Ugh, that's 5,000. Okay, so four people are gonna be on defense. Let's do this. I'm gonna go attack the 5,000 one. Hopefully this one can destroy the second team, no problem. And then this one can destroy the third team. These two. They're kind of weak though. I should be able to whittle down these guys quite easily, even if I'm not attacking too much, since I have a lot of... I have a lot of uh, dots. Why is Nadia's HP so low? She's level 40, but she's so low. Good. Wow, you guys are getting de destroyed. What the fuck? Good job, Spartan. Yeah, look at Loki. Wow, why am I not doing as much damage as I thought I was? Ah, oh, they have group heal. 8, 10, 8. Holy shit. Okay, thank God I got all those dots. <laughs> Even with all the group heals they got, they actually still take damage from it. That's how crazy my dots are. Yeah, fuck these guys. Damn, 1,000 damage. Awesome. Lots of EXP? Damn it. I'm not gonna be able to destroy the third one. Oh, wow! I can't even destroy the second one! Wow, that sucks. Well, I guess that's okay. Oh, that's annoying though. Okay, what scene is this? The Sinmara naturally had medical facilities, but the full-time healers were exclusively monsters and had only the broadest knowledge. With goddesses around, a normal healer sometimes couldn't keep up, and in the case of mental issues or physical abnormalities in a goddess, the average healer wasn't as helpful as, as someone skilled in handling dark energy like Fina. Freya got a checkup from Fina that she responded to with a puzzled expression. On the way back to her room, pain welled up from within her and made her lean against the wall as she touched her abdomen. Freya stroked her navel over her throbbing womb, her face clearly blushing and her breath rough, her lustrous moan filling the hall. 
The repeated training sessions were steadily reducing Freya's resistance to pleasure. She looked to be in anguish, but the aura she exuded was close to that of a prostitute. She could draw in men like moths to a flame. I swear, if you're going to entice men with that face, you're just asking to be raped. Drawn by the smell of ripe fruit, Loki approached from behind and wrapped his arms around Freya. I saw you come from Fina's room. Are you ill or something? He raised his hands, massaged her sagging chest, and smelled her shimmering black hair. Strongly embraced from behind, Freya was toyed with like a life-size doll. Compared to the typical training, it was childish mischief. But at that moment, Freya's body was even sensitive to that. This is pretty interesting because she is actually the only one that so far has a scene where the training sessions made sense. Everyone else had those scenes where they're like okay with Loki doing weird stuff to them. So it, it was super awkward but she is the only one that has these scenes where she's questioning Loki's behavior. Loki only intended to mess with Freya, but he noticed her poor health when she turned to face him. He put his hand on her forehead to check her temperature. I see. You certainly are a bit hot. If you're really sick, you should tell me first. Freya's feeble resistance and the feminine stench her whole body exuded pointed to the cause of her illness. I see. So that's it. I have to ask, doesn't getting aroused like this make you unfaithful to your dead husband? Her lust revealed, Freya blushed even redder, exhibited the most power yet to pry away from Loki, and ran off. Uh, I actually feel like I will capture her. She's clearly trying to deny it this time, right? Like, letting her go in this moment is probably gonna make her not as trained, you know? I'm not really usually the type that would choose the sexual option out of the two, but this is clearly a chance for us to make her train easier. Hey wait, Freya! You can't just run away! Not wanting to let Freya go without his permission, Loki grabbed her arm to prevent her escape. <laughs> Getting turned on here? You've changed quite a bit. It shouldn't be long before you submit to me. <laughs> you know, I, you don't necessarily have to have feelings for me to have sex or to to feel sexual attraction, Freya. Freya again tore herself from Loki and, this time, really got away. That she can still resist really shows what goddesses can do, but I'll corrupt her soon enough. Satisfied with the effects of the sex training, Loki left as well. Oh, I feel like that actually didn't change too much. Let's see... Which area did they take from here? This one. This is a church. They're not strong. I could destroy them no problem for sure. But let's see. Do I want to take this two areas? Hmm, it is night, so these guys are probably going to be a lot weaker. So yeah, I remember we actually having people now that has action boost and action deny or something. Which is pretty annoying. Damn these Hadrons. Equitable heal, group heal. Let's see, who needs to get healed up too? 
Karisu, you got kind of battered. Garm? Garm actually took a lot of damage. Black Ball Bouncer is still good. Yeah, I'm still trying to train Karisu here. You're pretty expensive though, Karisu. God damn. Yeah, you are fucking expensive. Hmm. Turka didn't take any damage. My fourth team shouldn't take any damage whatsoever. Yeah, I don't think they did. No, you want to be here. I thought I healed Nadia. Okay, she does have 1000 HP. I, I really thought I healed her. Weird. Nadia is actually really good, by the way. For how much she costs? A 74 food? She is amazing. Okay, I need to level up some people here. The Lupo Lancer. They're not that good, Lupo Lancer. God damn it. These guys are still healing up. The Man Eater. Lethal Critical 40. If I can just give you Boost Critical, you could be pretty deadly, Man Eater. H, level 33, 215. Okay, we'll use these guys while everyone else you go on resting. I can't believe I'm actually losing, or not losing money, but I'm pretty stump on money. I'm gonna go get this one. Why did this one get attack? That was weird. Okay, we got ambushed, but uh, should be fine. Yeah, those guys actually did not do- Wow! I was gonna say those guys actually did not do too much damage, but fuck! <laughs> Fucking hell! Come on, Yug! H! You just died! Spartan is so good. Yeah, kill these guys, please. These guys are dead. Bye bye. Well, there goes H and the Worm Queen. Oh, another invader. Right. Loki nodded at Fina's question. Thor has been in the army for a while. She hasn't caused trouble yet, but her obedience is, if anything, unsettling. I'm not saying that, but I think keeping track of her actions will be necessary. Uh, I was actually waiting for her to say that, that second sentence. I was like, is that it? <laughs> and then she says it. Fina conspicuously sighed. Loki knew it was an absurd request, but nobody in his organization fit the job better. Thor's feats on the battlefield were magnificent. If she cared to, she could deal a devastating blow to Loki's army. The possibility gave Loki too much anxiety to ignore. I'm trying, Fina. I'm working on that. You need to watch her until the training's done. That's what I'm saying. Good. Fina sighed but nodded. Leaving this to her should offer some peace of mind. He didn't expect it to take long before the first report came in. That was a few days ago. But then... <laughs> Loki opened the door, 
looked inside and realized what this meant all in a matter of seconds. Fina and Thor were having a friendly conversation. They hit it off like they'd been friends for years and began to drink together. Fina had apparently forgotten his orders. Her flushed face made Loki want to clutch his head in his arms. Some of us aren't drunks. I mean, I don't really appreciate the taste of alcohol. I can only like, you know, like alcohol to me, as long as it goes down well, it's good. Even I drink sometimes. I just know the time and place for it. Stop treating me like a child. Actually, never mind. That's not important. Loki interrupted their conversation and gestured with a finger for Fina to come over. What is going on here? When did I order you to drink the night away with Thor? I think he's actually doing a good job. Loki avoided letting Thor overhear by whispering into her ear. Fina innocently furrowed her brow, further, further aggravating Loki. You good, Fina? Looks like you're drinking your troubles away to me. Her mouth drew closer. It reeked of alcohol. She had apparently consumed a fair bit. While her speech was still eloquent, she was barely standing. Sounds like you've already forgotten what you were trying to do. Hey, wait! Fina yanked on his arm. If he didn't do something, they'd have their way with him. Confronting the two drunk women, Loki... I mean, why the hell would I run away from this? I don't think Loki is that weak to alcohol, right? What is with those, like, sound effect choices? Don't get cocky! I'll teach you how to really drink! Oh, come on, Loki! I didn't want you to do this! <laughs> When Loki raised his glass, Thor cheered. Fina also uncharacteristically clapped her hands with delight. Loki's memories were hazier after that. After he woke up with a horrible hangover, Loki relieved Fina of her surveillance duty, which should go without saying. I feel like she was just trying to befriend Thor. There's nothing wrong with that, I feel. A pretty good tactic in my opinion. Desired transformation, what the? Boundless sex. My god, Turka is just having everything. Do I just do this? Wait, did that actually increase Fina's uh, affection for us? I think they did. That did. I don't know how Fenrir already had two affection for us. That is very weird. I want to do Thor, but I also want to do Turka. I don't know. This is very annoying. Let's see. Who do I want to heal up? H, Worm Queen, get out of here. You guys need to heal up. Let's see. Garm, you still need to heal up. Freya, you still need to heal up. These guys are useless except for the Machma Serpent. I can put Turka here. And then I can try to level up someone here. Who wants to level up? Manticore. Manticore! God, you suck, dude. Yeah, Manticore, you suck. Your stats are garbo, my friend. Why? 
Well, technically speaking, the Hanya Samurai doesn't have good stats. But she does have lethal critical. And also added attack. Yeah, technically speaking, I guess the Hanya Samurai is not that strong either. I'm gonna try to use the Mu, I guess, to level him up. Well, maybe instead of the Mu, maybe it's time to level up Kurisu. Evil Rider, you can still go there. Nadia needs to heal up. Anya Samurai, you can go here. The Black Ball Bouncer. Or, not the Black Ball. Black Ball Bouncer. I guess you can also heal up, my friend. These two should be able to destroy that second unit. I hope. I'm gonna try to at least kill one of these guys. Yeah, that's the plan. Huh? This one, I think. Or maybe this one. I don't know. Nah, this one. Double defense, everyone else rest up. Yes, they should be fine. Wow, you have very low HP, Kurisu. I really hope you don't die. Okay. Bear. Ooh! I was gonna say, Spartan, what are you doing? And then he started doing his job. Wow, one damage? One dots? You gotta be fucking shitting me! Oh, Spartan is gonna die, I think. We're not really healing up here. Yeah, and he's getting dots. Wow, we are not doing very good. At least the tank is dead. So now DD Shaq can do his job. Wow, Spartan is still not dead. <laughs> I'm pretty su surprised Spartan's not dead. What a god. Good EXP. Okay, that one is left alive, but should be Gucci. Very good. Karisu, you're gonna go heal up. I guess it was it was a mistake to try to get you leveled while you were very badly damaged. Sparta needs to heal up. I'm gonna put Fina here. Second team looking pretty good. Third team also looking pretty good. Fenrir, you can probably go back up again. You're pretty expensive though, Fenrir. The Griffin. The Griffin is not that good. He does have ambush tactics. So chances are he is going to ambush the people that we attack. Let's see. Mercurius. I guess I'll put the Griffin here. Yeah, something like this. Hmm. Freya still needs to heal up. I have 30,000, so I can't afford to use up some money to heal up. Do I want to, though? Nah, I think I'm good. We're just trying to attack this one. This is only a one party team. Or, sorry, one party defender. Which shouldn't be too hard. We got Fina, we got Vedrung, we got Didi Shaka. The Griffin's probably not gonna do much, but they don't have defenders. I probably should try to equip Fina with. Ah, oh, fuck. Fina with. Uh... Oh my god, why did you attack her? Okay, good job on the parries, holy shit. Fuck! Fuck! Fuck these g Oh my god! I forgot that that guy is pretty strong. These are the guys that were that we were fighting in episode 1. Or sorry, chapter 1. While we were trying to beat Turka. I forgot those guys- What, 3000 damage? <laughs> yeah, I forgot those guys are strong. Holy shit. I was underestimating them. 
Okay, no invader though. That's good. This is a temple. Gold plus 1,000, cure plus 5. So that's pretty good. A watering... Ho a healing house. A healing house is garbage. I'm not right next to hell just yet. Hell is still pretty far. Uh, hell looks like a pain. She looks pretty darn strong. Holy shit. Oh boy. Turka, you need to heal up. Let's see, who am I gonna put here? I guess I'm gonna put Jason. Thor. Sure. No, no Fenrir. Freya is almost back to the party. No, you know what? I'll put Freya here. Let's see, Mercurius, are we gonna go tank? Spartan, you still need to heal up. Jayfish. Jayfish is actually pretty strong, I think. Damn. Instead of Griffin, I should probably try to level you up, my friend. Holy shit, those attacks. Those are some good numbers. Alright, I forgot to put these guys in. They still get the XP passively, thankfully. Even when I don't put them into a party. Hmm. I need to see what I can give to the Maneater. I think Black Ball Bouncer can jump straight into the, the team again. I think these three should be able to do it though. Maybe instead of Mikey B, Black Ball Bouncer. Let's take a look at uh, the Maneater. So, B accessory. You need critical bonus or critical boost. Which I do not have. I can make you this, but it's only a 10% chance. I can give you an item. Slave flying and range attack. Self-destruct. Critical boost. Lethal critical. I think I want the Hunter Beret on someone, but I forgot who. Probably to Jason. I guess I'll just give you those for now. Wait, what the hell? You can't- Oh, you, you use claws. My bad. Slay demon, slay undead. Lethal critical 15. That's the only one that gives critical boost, but only by a tiny amount. Gosh, just use this, I guess. Your choice of weapons sadly sucks, my friend. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and attack. Let's take a look at these guys. They have a Dragon Knight. I'm gonna go double attack. These holy knights are annoying. I'm gonna try to attack these guys at night. Because I feel like these guys are... Not night creatures. Okay. Either here or here. Ooh, the in her jar. 58 speed. My team is slow, so this guy will always go hit first. Oh wow, sea serpents. Man, these guys are pulling out the, sp the stops. Like, I have noticed that this area specifically is very difficult. Sap demon, sap defense. Okay, I'm gonna go beat this one. My second and third team should be able to destroy the second one, no problem. We got Black Ball Bouncer. 
Let me change that real quick. There we go. Hoping that my second team doesn't even, or my third team doesn't even need to uh, be there to win. I'm hoping. It should be pretty easy though. Okay, no ambush. Jeez, that hurts. Fuck! J Fish! Man, without Spartan, it's just so much more difficult to uh, protect everyone. People just keep dying without Spartan. Okay, we need the third team. Destroyed. Okay, no one's attacking us. We can go attack that one. And then we're gonna be neighboring hell. Oh boy. God damn it, Jayfish. He was the only one that died. Second team is doing pretty good. I can probably put Nadia back in. Didi Shack, you might have to heal up. I'll put in Mikey B. Let's see, anyone else that can join us again? Man, I think it's worth it just to always heal Spartan. Spartan saves you so much money in the long run, I think. I like Fina, but she's just not as good. Yeah, she needs forward physique or forward guard. Vedrung, you're A-OK -okay right now. And I'm back. Sorry about that. Had to take a package. Got my sixth volume of uh, Classroom of the Elite. The English version, of course. But yeah, it just uh, got released, I think, a month ago. But I didn't realize it was uh, releasing that time. So I got the last copy, thankfully. What was I doing? Right, we were gonna go attack that first... That territory that only has one defender. Everyone else could rest up. Let's see. Oh, come on. I didn't want to do that. I always hate it when I sometimes do that. So annoying. So low in HP, everyone. I really don't think I need to make anyone else. I wonder if the gotcha could actually hit these guys that I don't need or that I need level 4 medallions for. I could make the Storm Dragon. I really could. What should I give him though? Dragon scales, it's already 75, so that's really good. Range, no. Strat barrier. His stats are so good. Damn. Let me make this real quick. What should I give you? Hmm, maybe helmet split. You don't have any no any uh you don't have lethal critical. Legendary Curse Cure. Added attack. Ooh, dual wielding. Reduce your defense though. Captain attack tactics. Curse Cure. Do I even want to use Dragon Scales? Critical boost. Do I even want to use these uh, 
really expensive day of tune. Medallions on you. Suicidal. Self-destruct, lethal, critical, parry, critical boost. Critical boost, 30. That is actually not bad at all. Twenty helmet split. Hmm. Four hundred twenty-eight magic, though. Holy moly! Preferably, I could get him double helmet split. Action boost. Wow. Interesting. Does nothing else give me helmet split? I actually don't think so. I could give him accurate. Man, this is actually so good, this flower thing. It gives you critical boost 30, lethal critical, and also helmet split. That's pretty insane. I think I'm gonna go do this. Alright. Who are we gonna name you? Welcome to the team, Aaron. Let's hope that you are gonna be very good. Boom. Man, you cost so much though. <laughs> God damn, you cost so much. <sighs> it is what it is. Not gonna use you just yet. Okay, let's go take this territory. And then we're gonna be neighboring hell. Should be a pretty easy job. We only got four moves though because of the action block by the siren. I hope I have enough enough damage. Might need DD Shack, but we'll see. The defender shouldn't be too strong, and we got an ambush. Very good. Wow, those dots! Holy shit! Yeah, this is why you're pretty good, Nadia. What the hell? That dots. Jesus. I guess Loki also de deals Dark Field. But yeah, that is amazing. Who else does it? Yeah, you gives you you give Fire Blast, which is also not bad. Goodbye. Okay, hell. Doesn't seem like Hell is going to be able to get attacked just yet. We need to lower their ter territories more. There's another invader. Fucking Hell, that's Odin. Oh my god. I need a super strong team right now. Let's take a look at Odin. This is our first time taking a look at her. Sap Demon, Boost God, Lightning Field, Spell Reflect. Dimension Slash. I don't like the sound of that. Level 46. Everyone else is actually not that strong. These guys have decent amount of stats, but... Damn, helmet split and white attack. Okay, I'm, I'm talking out of my ass. This guy is pretty strong. <laughs> talking out of my ass. Oh boy. Okay, we're gonna need to bring the big guns for Odin. Don't even need, think I need Thor. Nadia is good. Didi Shack, you're gonna be joining me. Vedrung, of course. Let's see. Second team should be good. Not sure if we need the third team. But, of course, I will 
make them help out anyway. But I think we should actually be able to destroy her with just my first team. With DD Shack and Black Ball Bouncer. As long as she doesn't do some bullshit AoE. You won't do it, right? Odin. Okay, we even ambushed her. Okay, I think that's a, that's a boost in speed. Which is A-OK -okay for me. Boosting speed is fine. Boosting attack and defense is... Ooh, that hurts. How much dots are we gonna do? Not much. Spell reflect. So, she didn't get hit by... Oh. I don't know what that did. Black Ball Bouncer, you're not dead just yet. Jason is dead, okay. Vedrung is dead. DD Shack is doing work, but we are not doing a lot of damage here. She's doing the Ah! Fuck off! She's doing that every single turn. Fuck! We are not doing damage. <laughs> Fucking hell, this girl is bullshit. This is why I feel like sometimes the RNG in this game is bullshit. <laughs> because of shit like that. Yeah, as long as you're not healing, it's fine. It's like, whatever. Oh my god. We don't have any more attackers. Can my second and third team do something? Odin is left. Third team? Fuck! Okay, I think we gotta... We gotta reload. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Wow. Odin, you're gonna make me curse a lot. Diddy Shock was not doing as much damage as I thought he would. Jason, too, sadly. Ah. We need more healers, I think. Vedrung! I think it's better to have double double guards here. Jason might be okay just for the fact that I can get the ambush tactics off. Okay, maybe this is good enough. I hope. I really hope so. <laughs> oh my god. What a dumb battle. Because she just kept using her skill every single turn. Totally balanced. Fuck this bitch! Okay, that's a, that's only a heal, which is good. We destroyed her one- we already destroyed one of them, which is good. Aw, oh, come on! Why'd you only attack twice? Okay, that's another heal, which is- Ah! Does that actually revive? Oh my god! That revives people! That's bullshit! This is so BS! Yeah! That revives! Wow, this... What a fucking cheater! This is so bullshit! Fuck you! <laughs> oh my god! So she revives and attack AoE. What a what a Oh my god. What? Such a such a good fight. Such a good fight. Can we kill her please with my second and third team? Third team, can you do something? Oh my god.
This is stupid. Ah. Okay, regret, you are not doing a very good job. Jesus Christ. What can I do? Helmet split, dark field, critical. If only you have more boost critical. It'd be so devastating for you. <sighs> you are just not that good, Jason. You're good for an ambush guy, but that's about it. I think I'm gonna go heal up Turka. Damn, that's a lot of money. Fifty parry, sixty-five parry. I think DD Shack was actually doing much more work than Diz. Sorry, Diz. Oh boy. Yeah, cheater. Let's fight again. Are you gonna keep doing your bullshit AOE from the first turn till the end of the turn? Yep. <laughs> Oh, what bullshit! What bullshit! Okay, at least Turka missed. Oh. She is so cheap! That is so cheap, man. Wow, DD Shack. Or sorry, not DD Shack. Blackwell Bouncer is dead. Well, almost dead, but we're pretty much toast here. Oh my god. Jesus! Me attacking now is just like giving her the chance to be able to use her AoE and heal up. Yowza. Yeah, look at that! Her team is back to full! <laughs> oh my god! What is this garbage? How is this fair? You're not supposed to be able to be... You're not supposed to be able to revive your team! Okay. I will see you guys... Once I beat this bitch to oblivion. I'm back. Fuck this bitch, yo! <laughs> oh my god! That was so stupid. I just go Ooga Booga and put every attacker that I have into the front line. And they still died, by the way. And then she, at the last second, revived everyone. So yeah. What a bullshit. Bullshit matchup. Uh, rest up, everyone. You guys deserve it. Except for you, Spartan. You are the MVP. Hence, you actually need to carry us. Let's see... God, that was awful. That was so awful. Holy shit. Ah... <sighs> Everyone in his need of healing. Let's see. Dear Lord.
You know what? Sure. I'll put you guys... Man, that was so rough! Fuck, I'm gonna actually have to fight multiple of her! Oh no! Oh no! Jesus. This is gonna be a pretty tough fight. I think after this next fight, we're gonna do one more H scene. Probably Thor's. Drowning in pleasure. I guess Thor and we'll finish off with Freya's. Or maybe I'll do Freya's first because I do want her to get to her dark form soon. But my god. That fight made me sick to my stomach. What a cheap fight! She's so cheap! <laughs> Oh my god, I can't revive people. Why can she? It doesn't even make sense for her to actually be able to revive in my opinion. Yeah, good job, Demil. Jeez, those evades. Yeah, them dots doing work though. Good job. Ooh, I got a key of destiny. I can RNG that. Oh boy. I'll RNG and then after that we will do Freya's drowning in pleasure scene. I will see you guys once I get a pretty decent... Unit. And I'm back. We got the cannoneer as the... Wow, his stats are awful. <laughs> Range attack, white attack, fire blast, wall breaker. I guess uh, he's alright, but he's just slow. No defense. And then he's just gonna die before he's able to... He's able... He's able to do anything. God. But he is a tier 3, so we will keep him. But okay. We're gonna do Drowning in Pleasure. And then we will... Yeah. Continue on with the fight. I'll probably end off... Um, the episode with the Boundless Sex for Thor. Wowza! Always so fast, this game. Patreon.com slash Zykyosuke. Ooh. Nothing for you guys on YouTube. The instant she tasted the last, particularly large orgasm, Freya lost consciousness. Wow, I actually did not expect to like Freya's uh, eight scenes all that much. But they're actually not bad at all. Like, her body type is not really my kind of thing. But a lot of her 8 scenes has been very entertaining. <laughs> Not hot, mind you. Entertaining. Because it's very fun to voice act for me. Uh, but oh boy. Back to... Having a headache again about this whole fiasco in Valhalla. This shouldn't be too hard. And everyone else is healing up, so... Let's do it. I'm gonna try to get at least one story scene, but I don't know if I can do it. Like, Valhalla has been very difficult to actually beat. Wow, you didn't do as much damage as I thought, Demu. What happened, my man? Spartan's doing good work, though. Yeah, we good here. Yeah, get out of here. So much EXP!
Is hell gonna do something? On the bridge, Fina looked over some parchment and delivered a report to Loki. Her expression was stern, and even Garm leaned against the wall in silence as he waited for her to speak. Go on. As if he had some idea what was coming, Loki gravely awaited the report. The oppressive atmosphere was broken when Fina opened her mouth. Loki's squads lost to an enemy army and were annihilated. Had he let the army, they would still have lost. Even the greatest commander lost at times. More so than what you do when you win. What you do when you lose is what separates the good commanders from the bad. Alright, the job of healing them is in your hands. Once a list of damages and survivors is written up, get it to me at once. I'll reorganize our forces right away. Loki had lost squats in the past. He calmly confirmed Fina's report, then delivered orders and stood from his seat. Sorry, but I'll be in my room to come up with new plans. If you need anything, come tell me. Loki brushed off Fina's advice. More Freya scenes, I guess? What, Freya? I'm busy. If you need something, leave it for later. After all I've done to you, you're still concerned about me? You're one benevolent goddess. Without taking his eyes off his army's structure and a map of the continent, Loki replied to Freya. Of course. Short of having a heart of iron, I don't see how I could take the death of my troops without some concern. But ever since war broke out, I've been prepared for the consequences. Therefore, I absolutely will not let their deaths be in vain. For the troops who dedicate their lives to me, and for those who have already been lost, I'll do the best I can to minimize the casualties. Loki declared it his responsibility as the commander. Whether demon, human, or goddess, the leaders of armies had the same ideas. He took it so seriously that Freya was impressed. You sure it's not just lust, Freya? Man, I was just praising how your scene was actually relevant or not relevant. We're consistent with the training scenes, Freya. And now you say this. Freya. Freya's comment made Loki briefly pause. You lost your husband, so now you want me to take his place. It's not very fateful of you. I'll tell you now that I don't want to be seen as his replacement. Being viewed as anyone's replacement makes me sick. Freya star started, but frantically shut herself up. Huh. So you sincerely care about me. I'm honored. If you could keep that up and submit to me completely, that'd help. She still can't be honest with herself, I suppose. Regardless, Freya's expression as she left and had less disgust than before. A detail that didn't escape Loki's sight. Okay, so that is still not an event with hell. Oh my god, 30,000. This is gonna be ridiculously hard. I don't even want to think about this match. <laughs> oh. oh my god. 
I don't even want to think about it. World tree. What can I do now? A lot of people still need healing, don't they? They do. Aaron. I should probably try to level up Aaron. The moon's not doing too much. Yeah, this is actually doing a lot more damage. Let's see. Garm's already fully healed, which is good. Karisu's healed. Man, the Hanya Samurai is actually insane. What the fuck, man? This girl has been carrying me since day one. And I'm still using her, which is the crazy part. The Dulahan has not really been carrying me as much anymore, but that's because Spartan is <laughs> on defensive duty. Jfish, you're almost uh, healed up. H is healed up here. But god, H has been a disappointment so far. Fina's healed up. Vedrung, you are not healed up. Arsene, not healed up too. There you go, Cannoneer. Man, I was going to do three H scenes, but I don't know if I can do it if I'm planning on keeping to the two-hour format. I think after like two more battles, if it doesn't trigger an eight, a scene with uh, Hell, I'm just going to go call it an episode after I finish off with the Boundless Sex. But yeah, let me go take the Arthas River here. Let's see, I have three people I can use use here. So hopefully we can take these guys over. Let's see. These guys have defenses. Man, the thing is, I don't know if my second team can do it though. Fuck. Do I just... Ah, there's no way I can beat Odin. No way. Odin's gonna have to be like the last thing that I beat. She's just way too strong. Okay. I feel like Aaron's gonna die. <laughs> like, no joke. He's gonna die easily. Sure, I guess. It's okay to attack double. Even if they don't finish off the second fight, it should make it easier for my second team later on. Or not second team, third team. Yeah, Aaron's gonna get attacked. Thank God for Spartan, though. Yeah, Spartan is actually... Wowza! What the? That damage! Yo, you guys got destroyed! Bro! Wow, you guys got destroyed! You didn't even... You didn't even kill Eren! <laughs> wow, that's amazing! Wow, okay, my third team actually can beat you. I did not expect that. I actually did not expect the second team to be that strong. But okay, doesn't look like we got a scene here. One more fight. And if there's no scene, I will end it off. I did say two fights, right? I think I said two fights. Actually, don't remember. <laughs> I'll heal you up, Aaron. Okay, let's see. I'll kill this one. This is the stronger the stronger out of the two. Well then again, it was nighttime. So that was probably why it was easy. Ah, oh, you got poisoned. Ooh, that hurts. Got countered. Wow, Diz! You are so good, my friend! Yeah, that poison did no damage. <laughs> because we just healed it off. Oh, that hurts, though. You kind of killed yourself there, Aaron. Don't do that. Yo, 
Yeah, Aaron actually is almost killing himself. <laughs> Which is uh, not good. Okay, thank god. Okay, should be able to kill those guys. Good. Still no scene, so yeah, I'm gonna have to end this with an H scene. I guess I am not as fast as I thought in tackling Valhalla. These guys are strong, okay? And not to mention, we still need to beat up Hell. Oh my god, I... I... Valhalla is tough. Okay, let's end this with an H scene. Succubus is obstruction. I am curious what the H scene with Fenrir is gonna be. I don't think Loki is gonna be the one that actually had sex with her. After the, the sun had set in the office of the Sinmara, Loki should have been there alone, but two voices could be heard. I'm telling you, let me take over this time. You always get to have the fun. That ain't fair. In case you don't know, simply acting out my desires isn't why I do this with the goddesses. Man, I know Loki. So awkward. Basically, all I gotta do is get her moaning and make her submit, yeah? Leave it all to me, Loki. <laughs> Believe in the you who believes in me. Shut the fuck up, Vidrung. Ah. <sighs> Fine. Just be wary of your of your time limit. If you don't use any power, I don't think it should be a problem, at least. <laughs> Roger that, boss. I don't know, I feel like Vedrung would call Loki boss for some reason. A knock at the door interrupted the conversation. That night's victim had arrived. Loki. <laughs> Yo, Thor. Been waiting for you. Loki let me out to play. I asked him to give me something to do sometimes. Vedrung's brilliant smile told Thor everything she needed to know. She immediately turned around. But it was too late. Vedrung grabbed her arm and instantly dragged her into bed. That was super fast. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not talking about just censoring the CG for you guys on YouTube. Holy shit, Vedrung. Patreon.com shit is IQSK. During her slumber, Thor felt strong hands around her and the happiness it brought. You know, that was actually... Pretty vanilla. <laughs> for what was supposed to be a training se segment. Can't deny that, damn. Vedrung is actually a much more romantic guy than you think. But yeah, that was pretty hot. I actually like that scene. I even love voice acting that, like, energetically. Really awesome. Whew. But I think this is gonna be where I call it an episode. Oh my goodness. We still have hell to deal with. And look at all those Odins! I actually do think we are gonna have to fight off these stupid guys if we want to progress through the story, but I don't know. Maybe we need to beat one of them. Or I'm hoping just killing the Colding Forest is gonna be able to trigger the event. Oh my god! If you take a look at the World Tree, we're gonna have to fight the four... four people again. Oh no! That's gonna be so annoying. I think the only thing that I can't fight is just Seryu. Seryu is just too strong. But I feel like I can beat everyone else. Oh. But yeah, this is gonna be something that future Isaiah is gonna have to think about. Well, tomorrow anyway. But with that, this is gonna be where I'm gonna call it an episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Give this video a like if you guys like it. Sub if you guys haven't. Patreon will be getting these episodes early access along with everything uncensored. And yeah, the 18th has been... I don't know, it has, it has a lot of kinks for everyone, you know? I personally like it. You guys might not be into some of the more, like, hardcore stuff. But as I said, I've seen worse. 
<laughs> and also, before I forget, Patreon now have free members. So for you guys on YouTube that aren't free members on Patreon just yet, feel free to join because I will be putting first episode pre previews for future playthrough ah playthroughs. See ya.